Hey y'all, good morning. It is 5.50 in the morning. We've been driving about three hours now. It's time to get some gas and roll out to the Outer Banks. That's where we're headed to today. We're going to Buxton, North Carolina, do some surf fishing. It's early spring, first week of April. I'm gonna try to get some drum, some big ones. All right, and if we don't catch anything, I'm just gonna show you a little bit about uh, what's going on out there. If you ever wanna go fishing out there, if you wanna go fishing on the Outer Banks, here's what's going on. So we are on Highway 64, headed east, out to the Outer Banks of North Carolina. Uh, I got the little kids with me, and we're gonna try to do some fishing, all right? So thanks for clicking, let's roll. All right, first thing we gotta do is get a biscuit. Country ham, you know that's that salty ham. You gotta do that when you're in the south. Some biscuits, get some coffee, roll out, catch some fish. Cape Hatteras, all right, Cape Hatteras National Seashore right here. I got my off-road recreational vehicle pass. Make sure you buy one of those before you come out here and you wanna drive on the beach, you gotta get one, all right? So that's your first little tip. Get an off-road recreational vehicle pass, just go on recreation.gov, get your pass. All right, so if you look on a map of North Carolina where that point sticks out in the water, out in the middle of the ocean, that's where we're fishing today. So I'm gonna stop talking, and we're gonna roll out here and start fishing. All right, let's go. a while to get a bite but there you go dogfish go down to it reel down to it all right mr dogfish All right, folks, I'm out here on the point all by myself. Been kind of slow on filming today because we ain't catching anything. I was hoping this little bit of warm weather would get it going. Uh, it's the one day I had to shoot up here to the uh, Outer Banks and hit this point here on Buxton. And it just ain't happening, man. We caught it some spiny dogfish and some puffer fish. And we're out here. I'm actually on the point right there behind me. That point you see on a map that sticks out in North Carolina, out into the Atlantic Ocean, that's where we're at, right there. And the fish are just not biting yet. So we got an incoming tide. Maybe this evening something will happen. You can see the trucks lined up down there. All right, some people out at the beach. We're trying to catch some fish. We got some big rods out. We got some little rods out. The kids are catching puffer fish and just hanging out right now. It's in the middle of the day, about 70 degrees. Beautiful springtime day here on the Outer Banks. I'm in shorts. 
I took the waders off and I'm walking in the water and it's pretty awesome. Now we'll make it even more awesome is if we catch a fish. So I'm gonna stop filming and uh, I don't know, if something happens, I'll start filming again and we'll make a video. All right. Little guy out here at the point, reeling in fish like he's a grown man. <laughs> Let's see what he's got. Another dogfish. Wearing them dogfish out to date. One of these times is going to be a drum. All right, we're hooked up. We just saw a big old shark cruising right here. And I think he was just cruising with bait in his mouth. Well, he caught something today. He's a big one. He's like six footer. It's going to be a long We'll see. Right, we're going back to the other side of the point now. Going back to the other side. All right, here we go. What? Shark is here. Use the waves now. Reel down. Reel down. Reel down. Reel down. There he is, right there. Okay, now, come back down, come back down. Hey, check it out, look at this big sand tiger we got. Right there, there's the man right there. Look at that. Look, I need to go to the dentist. <laughs> yeah, hurry up and take some, uh, get some pictures. All right, so here we are. Made it to Buxton out here on the point. We got this big daddy right here. Watch out, make sure he doesn't come around and bite you. Let's put him back. All right, we're going to get him back in the water, and uh, we'll talk to you all later. Check this guy out, huh? Go ahead, put him back. All hurry right, up. Good job, buddy. Right here. Oh, ah. oh, we missed it, but we got it. But here we are. We're going to wrap up the show with that monster shark my oldest son just caught. All right. And uh, let me tell you what we're using. 20-pound test, 40-pound test shock leader, all right, six and eight-ounce weights. And if you just go anywhere on YouTube and search drum rig, Cape Hatteras drum rig, uh, red drum on Buxton, red drum at the point. You'll see all kinds of videos about that and the type of rigs that we're using. But we're basically using a slide rig, right? Big snap swivel right here with a six and eight ounce weight, 40 pound shock leader tied to 20 pound test. And we're using uh, 10 to 12 foot rods. Come here, look at this. All right, so look, we're using bait casters. We're using spinning rods. And we're out here right on the point of North Carolina where it sticks out in Buxton, right? And we're just flinging big baits, all right? Cut menhaden, and cut mullet. And I'll tell you what, we were hoping for a big drum. The weather's still not right, still a little chilly. All right, we had a bad cold front this, this uh, week. And we're gonna wrap it up with that, all right? Bait casters, spin casters, 20 pound test, slinging it out there, you know, as far as you can, six and eight ounce weights, and with chunks of bait on there about that big, all right, with uh, uh, eight, nine knot hooks, all right, circle hooks. I'm just excited. I'm excited for my cameraman right there that's, that's filming. Our catcher right there. Um, the shark got back in the water just fine. We watched it, made sure it swam off. Big old sand tiger, right? And that thing was over seven foot long. Hey, thanks for watching another video. I'm gonna keep making them. 
you keep watching them and I hope you like them. I'm gonna keep looking at the sunset here and we're gonna roll out. All right, thanks for watching. Let's roll. Hey, yo, hey, check it out. That was an awesome fish, right? It's not what we were targeting, but it, hey, that's just what was biting last night. Those big toothy critters, big old sand tiger shark right there on the outer banks. Buxton, North Carolina, the point, all right? That point on the map that you see sticking out in the Atlantic Ocean, that's where we were fishing. Hey, we were looking for big red drum, and they just weren't there, right? The water hadn't warmed up enough, and the, the wind wasn't blowing the right direction. But, hey, fish of a lifetime still. So what you're going to do if you're going to keep catching fish of a lifetime like that is you got to clean your gear. And here's what we're going to do, all right? I just got a simple rag, and here's what I've done for a long time when I take these big trips like this. When you're out there in that salt water and all that sand, you got to get that salt off your gear, all right? And I just do a little light brushing of the, of the gear, get all that salt off there, okay? Just like that. I'm going to go through all my gear like this, hit all the metal parts, get all that sand off, all right? And then I'm just going to spray it off lightly, make sure all the salt and sand is off of there, and then I'll go back and re-lube everything and make sure it's all good working order. So let me give a couple shout outs real quick. Check this out. This is the reel that my son caught the fish on, all right? Daiwa emblem, long cast spool, 20 pound test, 40 pound shock leader. And then I got this rod from Sportsman's Warehouse up in Moorhead City, North Carolina. It's a profile rod. I think it's one of their own brand or uh, one of the local brands. And that thing, 11 foot rod, handled that shark pretty well, all right, for my uh, 13 year old. So big shout outs to, um, to the uh, Sportsman Warehouse up in Moorhead City. Hey, All right, wait, stop the video. Stop the video right now. I misspoke. The place is called Sportsman Wholesale right here behind me. All right, look at that. Sportsman Wholesale down here in Moorhead City. I forgot what I said on the video right there. Sportsman's Warehouse or something like that. I think that's some other store. So Sportsman Wholesale, Sportsman Wholesale. Thank you. Uh, hey, we hooked that shark up and did damage out there on the Outer Banks. Thanks for the, uh, the good deal on a rod. 11 foot surf rod. So I wanted to stop the video right there. Sportsman Wholesale. All right, let's get back into the video. Big shout out to Red Drum Tackle right there in Buxton. Hey, thanks for the bait. All right, we bought our bait from you. And then uh, thanks for help getting him, uh, getting the citation paperwork filled out. I don't know what else to say. I'm just excited. We're going on just a couple hours of sleep last night. We got in real late. And now we've been up all morning cleaning out the truck, cleaning all our gear, getting all this salt and sand off. And then, um, hey, just sharing this story with you. So hopefully you enjoyed this epic trip. We think it's epic anyway. Fish of a lifetime for my 13-year-old. For me, too. I never caught a shark like that off the beach, all right? And uh, I don't know. I'm just excited to share that with you. I'm going to keep cleaning the gear, and then we're going to go make some more videos for y'all to keep watching. So thanks for watching, and uh, hey, let's roll. Let's go clean some gear.